Hello and welcome to ARK, the complete series. I've been doing a lot of braiding. <laughs> I've been mean, like a lot of braiding off camera. It's taken me like over a fortnight to get it to get to kind of where I want to. Uh, I mean this um, this kind of like coloured baryonyx came through and I, I wanted to kind of use that but then this one came through and I was thinking oh that's a kind of nice colour. Then of course this one came through and it's like mm, okay maybe I want that one instead. But um, it was taking just so long to get beyond like a, just a basic, you know, um, dino that's got uh, lots of mutations in health. Uh, I mean, the, only, the reason I've got this one out at the moment is because I'm, I'm keeping him to one side because I've been using him to get colour, uh, that specific colour. But uh, these two, they've come from uh, some basically breeding the mutated baryonyx together. Because it was just taking too long to try and just focus solely on health. But I'm still pursuing that in the background. I'm still going to try and get um, a good level baryonic. So we've got some over here that are still left over. So the idea is we've got that. We've got that mill. That's as far as I got in health was to level two. I mean, I went through well over a thousand eggs breeding. Uh, so I've got him breeding with this uh, red female because I, I took the male, uh, bred him back to one of the female the female breeders so I could get a female to breed with this male. Uh, it does kind of skew things up on, this, on the mutations a bit but at least it gets the colour in. Uh, and in the meantime I've just been breeding these two so I could get um, the mutations uh, and the colours that I wanted. So I went through a couple of them, I mean I've getting them fully imprinted. So these are the two we're going to be using for now but in the meantime I'm just going to still keep breeding uh, some more baryonyx. Because these ones, these are all these ones are all over the place. They've got they've got four levels in health, one in stamina, two in melee, and um, they're fully imprinted. I think they've got like one in weight as well. But uh, actually, I'll give you I'll give you those two levels in health because they haven't they haven't done any leveling yet. So th this one's uh, this one's well, th it's Bill and Bell. <laughs> I'm not, I'm not a solid original here, Bill and Bill. Never mind. Uh, I'm going to take this one out because we really need a lot of fish. And these things are just brilliant for going out and getting fish. Uh, any of the spare ones I've had um, left over, I've just been going out. We've been taking on megalodons, we've been taking on uh, the manta rays, for instance. Just getting tons and tons of fish. It's really, really easy. The only thing is the uh, those blooming jellyfish can be annoying. So we're just going to have a wander over here, but uh, I want to get her, is this Bill? Oh, it's Bill. Right, we're on Bill. Um, I want to get him leveled a bit. We'll take him out to the cave, and because uh, that's the next thing, is I want to go out and get the artifact. Uh, the artifact of the massive, I think it was, that I'm going for. And that gives us the complete set so that we can do the... Um, the brood mother, but obviously I'll need the actual. Um, I need all the right by right dinos to be able to pull that off. That's true. It would help if you could actually go and find them. So I need to find myself a megalodon out here somewhere. I keep coming out here on a regular basis, and I think I've probably sort of like eaten all the megalodons in the area. Uh, but they're dead easy to take out. You just, I mean, I've I've taken out like alpha megalodons. The hardest part is literally having to keep coming back up for oxygen. I should really make myself some scuba gear to be honest. Ooh, there's a jellyfish over there, that's not good. Ooh, there's a couple of, well there's actually there's quite a few of them over there. Right, well there's a manta. Let's see if we can get that manta, because we can get, uh, we usually get quite a lot of fish off of them. But I'm just going to have to be really wary of those jellyfish, because they can really wreck the, my plans. Uh, I'm gonna have to run. See there, look, 298 uh, fish just from that uh, one manta ray. So these are brilliant, absolutely brilliant for getting fish. But the real reason I want them is for the cave. So what I'm gonna do is, actually, let's have a look over here. Is there a, is there a note over here that I forgot? I think there might. Oh yes, there is. Oh great. Oh, that's handy. Well, basically we're just going to go out and hunt for some fish. And then we're going to head out to the cave. So, once we're ready to do that, I'll bring you back. 
Well, we've brought Bill over to the cave here. Uh, we are at, let's have a look, right over in the far east corner. So on the GPS, that's 70.7, 86.1. Pretty easy enough to find. Uh, I think what I'm going to do is, I'm just going to leave my GPS here, because I won't be needing it down there. Unfortunately, this cave is where I lost Emerald. Uh, just because of the, um, I think it was just a, a step when we were coming back, I jumped off a bridge and I don't know whether it was a case of one of these blooming uh, bats managed to clip her or something, but uh, yeah, she didn't last. Um, incidentally, there's a, I built a little building out there with a bed, just on the off chance, but yeah, if you, if you fall into the lava down here, yeah, you're not going to have much chance to be honest. So we're going to just keep moving down here. I think um, I think Bill here will do quite well compared to how Emerald was doing. Because the problem I had with her was trying to actually reach the bats. I mean, I've brought myself some some portions. Uh, actually, we don't want to go down there. <laughs> that wouldn't make any sense. Yeah. So the these bats. I mean, there's a lot of like spiders and what have you. But the the big problem I'm, I find is the bats because the they tend to be quite high off the ground. It was very difficult for uh, Emerald to reach them. It's interesting that Dillos seem to sort of like leave you alone for some strange reason. At least that's what I found. So kind of like heading to the to the right there. Oh, 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 oh. They, they tend to be quite high level. So let's see how she does against them. I need to back up. Come here. Oh yeah, that's a 100. Yeah. Ooh. Whatever that was, I don't want to back into it. <laughs> I thought I was I thought I was just suddenly backing it into some lava, and that's one thing I definitely don't want to do. That's one thing you've got to be really careful about down here is you don't want to uh, find yourself going over a over a ledge. So I wanna keep uh, keep to the right here. I mean I didn't really have much problem coming down here. With Emerald, I mean, we we managed to sort of clear the place out. Uh, it was just when we were coming back, just really unlucky, I think. Um, we jumped off a kind of a bridge sort of thing, and she jumped over to the far side, and she just just didn't quite make it. So it was a case of then she, because she didn't uh, reach the other side, she then fell into the lava. Right, let me get rid of these things, otherwise she's. Uh, uh, Bill here is going to start getting a bit heavy. And I've, I've brought quite a bit of. Um... Oh, now this is going to be this is this is all fish meat, isn't it? All right, let's just get rid of this spider. That's not too bad. At least it's just a a spider. Yeah, I'll tell you what. Uh... Make my life easier. The only thing she need, uh, Bill here needs, is the fish meat. So I've, I brought quite a lot of over. I'm going to have to be a bit careful with um, increasing his health because he's obviously he's going to eat all that fish meat. So I'm going to have to be really careful around here. So let's get rid of these just to be on the safe side. Oh, that's one thing that sometimes happens is things can sneak up behind you. The next thing you, you know, you're getting pushed off the edge. So I'm just uh, keeping an eye on what's behind. Now then, can we? Yes, we can. Right, I don't want to be going down that ledge with a baryonyx while there's uh, bats there. I'd rather fight them in a in an easier area. Yeah, these are proving a lot easier taking them out. These out here. Oh no, I've got, uh, I've got rabies, drat. The last thing I need is to get it again. Right, I'm just gonna have to wait that out. I mean, I shouldn't do too bad. I've got quite high fortitude. My my health's up quite higher now because we've been getting like a lot of levels because of the um. All of the uh, the breeding we've done, we're, we're almost at level 90 actually. 
So I'm just going to wait this out, uh, heal up, and then I'll bring you back. Okay, that wasn't too bad. We've used some of our health portion up. Um, but it's something I need to be mindful of now. Oh, well, you snuck up on me there. Oh, that was sneaky. Oh, there's another one over there as well. It's a level 25 and a level 100. Oh, wow. Yeah, there's a lot of them back there. Uh, let's have a look and see where we are. I think I'll go that way. Nope, I don't want that one. I want this. I keep hitting 3 because 3 is normally where I keep the rifle. This time round I've got this time round I've got the uh, the grappling hook. I need and I'll need them for when we come to actually get the um Oh I'm stuck in a corner. This is not good. Yeah, I got stuck in a corner. It's because they're sort of like getting me from behind. Ah drat. Drat 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 drat. It's a pity I didn't have like the antidote because uh, I know early on in the game you used to have a an antidote and you had to uh, you had to actually learn how to make it. Now um, it's a lot easier to get it now. Well, I say it's a lot easier because the actual ingredients include uh, horns, so you can actually get the horns from the the rhinos instead of just uh, before. I mean, it was um, I think it was leech blood that you needed. The other thing is. Uh, you need about 10, yeah, you need 10, 10 rare mushrooms though, so that's a lot of mushrooms, and I've already cleared out all of the the beaver dams, because I, I needed quite a lot of re-fertiliser. Right, well I need to heal up again, so I'm going to get that done, and then I'll bring you back. Right then, so, I, I actually, I forgot the, um, I've got that, uh, was it Kalian soup, I think it is. Yeah, because I, I, I should have, I should have been using that for the, uh, to help me because it's very hot down here. Now I think this um Yeah, this is where uh this is where Emerald met our end. Just literally jumping over there, she didn't quite catch that edge that edge coming back and she ended up falling into there unfortunately. Which incidentally, uh down there where you can see those uh, buildings you can get some uh, explorer notes. Now, I want to be over there, and I don't want to shoot you in the head, do I? That would be just just plain stupid. I've, I've actually I've swapped the gun around. <laughs> I want to make my life easier. Uh, is there one of you coming? Both of you coming? Oh, not again! Come on, what are the odds? Oh, struth. I think that's a 145, actually. Oh man, what are the odds of that? Oh, that just plain sucks, that does. So there'll be some dillos and some more bats down there. I'll get rid of the dillos. But I'm going to have to heal myself back up again. Because I don't want to get bitten by a, another bat. Because if, uh, if they bite me while I've got... Uh, this bubonic plague, or rab well, it's, it's rabies actually. <laughs> um, if they bite me again, I'll get a double dose. That would kill me. Right, so I'll end up taking a left down there to get towards the uh, the artifact. I'll he I'm going to heal up, but I'm just going to give uh, Bill here some extra melee. I mean, we've, we've almost got to ten thousand health. Uh, Thirteen. Oh, that's not good. I'll have the fish meat, please. Right, we'll dump all this. You can have the fish meat back again, mate. There you go. Right, I'm going to heal up again, and then I'll bring you back. Okay, so we're almost healed up now, and uh, I want to go down this uh, this path here. Uh, trouble is, there's quite a few bats there I can see already. And that, that leads us to that uh, little ruin area. So if I can try and stay out of the way of these bats, probably wouldn't be so bad if like, they were lower level ones, because then you could um, take them out quicker. But if they do get behind you, 
think that's where I'm going wrong. Now, I don't know what's happening here, but I'm losing the mouse. The mouse was getting a bit stuck there. Ugh. Ah, that's good. Yeah, the mouse is getting stuck because I've got two monitors. Right. Uh, right, so there's some more bats down there, so let's see if we can... Get their attention. Yep, got their attention. So that's okay. Come on, come on. Yeah, if they're low level, it's probably not so bad, but high level, they're going to take a while to take out. That's when you're more at risk of getting the rabies, but I've got to be really careful where I'm walking. Otherwise, I could easily go over the edge. So there's usually some dillos around here. Yeah, right, I can go. <laughs> they were right in front of me, I didn't notice them there. I mean, it doesn't doesn't really matter, I mean, as I say, I don't think they really bother me on this, uh, well, they didn't bother me while I was on Emerald. And they're not bothering me now, for some strange reason, but... Right, so there's some some bats over there. Ah, I can see there's a... There's a one over there. Now, I want to be to the left, so... See if I can run through there and get rid of that. That's, I don't know if that's attracted their attention or not. Nope, not yet. Right. Let's empty your pockets. Right, make my life easier again. We'll uh, get our fish meat, drop the rest. Transfer your fish meat back again, mate. You can have that. Right, we'll give you another level. So, right, so you're on 10,000 now. So, around here there should be... Oh, there, there's an Explorer Note box right over there. If you need one. And there's a one here, right in front of me here as well. So that's two of them. So pretty easy to find if you take this path down. Right, there's a... Bat up there. I don't want to shoot you in the head, do I? <laughs> right. Let me back up and see if we can there uh, get them over here. Oh, it's a 130. A 90 and a 130. Struth. If it wasn't for the bloomin' rabies, there wouldn't be that much of a problem, to be honest. That was a that was a good call adding that into where. Uh, in the bats. Man, it really is a game changer, that one. Right, so, we'll keep going down here. Just got to be mindful of anything that might jump out of the wall. And one thing I've done is I haven't come down here during... Oh, struth, it's late night. So, I came down here and it was quite early in the day. But it's taking me so long to heal up. Uh, I, I, I really don't want to be down here at night because then I could run into like Megalosauruses. Ooh, a 145. Ow, ow, ow. Shine a light. Right, so we've come through here. I can hear something. Oh, bats. Bats, 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 bats. Oh, there's two more. And I can't see anything. Oh, struth. We're in among a lot of bats. Where did they all come from? I'm just going to keep walking up and this is what I was doing basically with Emerald, I was just pacing backwards and forwards, it seems to be the the easiest strategy but if they get you from behind you, you've got a good chance of getting rabies now. Right, so we came from there, right, so I want to I wanna start heading to the left. Right, let me ditch all this stuff, let's just have a look, I don't think there's anything I need there. Yeah, let's get rid of that. You can have all this again. Uh, we'll put that into your melee. Okay, now there's a loot box up there. That's a yellow one, so that might be interesting. Just keep an eye out in case something decides to jump out of the wall on me. Ooh, not bad. Oh, it's a blueprint as well. Oh, good. Good, good, good. 
actually um, I'll keep them on me just in case <laughs> right so we can go that way but I want to go that way so just to get the bit uh, hang on, hang on. that's not where I want to go just to get my bearings I went straight ahead there so yeah so there's the the ruin there so we come here and we come to a sort of like a crossroads now if I go left we'll run into more bats and spiders there's a loot crate over there Ooh. the talisman's just around the corner as well not the talisman the artifact I should say what are you a 90 oh I need some more Kalian soup oh my yeah uh, water's gonna drop real quick So yeah, so there's the uh, there's the artifact over there. I mean, you can't you can actually jump in that uh, direction, but it's, it's a bit risky. Uh, another thing you can do is if you come around this corner here. So, oh no! Oh, if I cry out loud, I don't want that. I should have really brought more water because I've sp I've been spending so much time down here healing that it's uh, it's costing me a lot of water. But if we come around here, ah, I'm gonna have to back up and heal. Right, well, I'll tell you what, I'm just gonna, I'm gonna heal up, get rid of this rabies, and then I'll bring you back. Okay, so we're nicely healed up now then. So let's uh, let's deal with these bats. I don't know how many there are. Uh, oh, it's a 130 truth. keep hearing what sounds like. It sounded like a bat, but it's not. The bats and the spiders, they sound the same to me. <laughs> but I've come around here, oh, struck more bats. Because if we turn a right, if memory serves, there's an explorer up around the corner. Just get rid of these uh, dillos here. Oh, it's a spider. Oh no, it's a, it's a loot. So there's a loot crate there we can see. Is that the loot crate I was looking at before? Because this is this is basically just turns it's, turns you more or less where we were heading anyway. I'm sure the loot crate was here. Oh yeah, there's a loot crate. You can probably just see a loot crate just to the sort of the right there. Right, I think what we'll do is we'll just back up a bit because I don't want to be fighting bats next to lava. We'll get their attention and we'll see what's in that loot crate. Yeah, I wasn't quite sure where that loot crate was from uh, when we were going past. I thought it was kind of like further out, but. Right, okay, so you've got a level. So there's a an explorer note there. Let's put that into your melee. I know I'm doing okay for weight. I know I keep emptying it. It's just out of habits because I I don't want to be in a situation where you know I get out of get Bill here to jump, and um, he ends up falling in. Right, I, don't, I think that spider's stuck and it's just getting killed by the lava. So take a bit of a gamble. Oh, blueprints. Good, good, good. Right, I'm gonna turn around. We're going to head back. Right, I want you on passive. There's no way I want you, sorry, coming to my rescue. Right, okay, so. Now, there's, there's that spider's on the middle edge there, so I'm just going to get its attention. Or oh, kill it. <laughs> I'll have to do the same with the dillos. Now they should come and jump off the ledge and fall into the lava. Oh! What the heck was that? Where did you come from? Oh, that was sneaky. Right, let's wait for this to clear. I'm going to then try and get those bats to come over here, because basically... I mean, I could potentially like try and jump that with the, with the, with the baryonics, but I'm not going to risk it. What I want to do is I want to grapple to the wall 
and then I'll grapple over to the other place but uh, I need to get that area clear so there's a there's some bats over there and there's also a scorpion so let me get the uh, if I hit the scorpion it should run off the edge and if I hit the bats hopefully that hit the bat and they'll come over here and we can clear them. It's, it's kind of tricky to see anything. It looks like there's still a, a scorpion over there on the le on that ledge. I can't quite tell. So I think. Oh, Gordon Bennett, where did you come from? I only I only saw two. Man, nearly had a bleeding heart attack. <laughs> oh, come on, come on, come on, come on! Right, you're starting to get heavy, aren't you, mate? Let's swap the fish over again. Uh, anything useful? Nope. So you can have all the fish meat back. Now, can I see anything over there? I, I don't know. I don't know if I can see anything. There's some bats over there. Let me see if I can get up here. Because I want to get to that, and the trouble is I'm just a bit bothered in case I aggro those bats, maybe. Are they coming over here? Ooh. Quick, 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 quick! I was trying to hit the scorpion that I saw. I mean, I don't think that's going to be a problem, to be honest, because it's, uh... There should be some lava that separates where anyway. Ooh, what level are you? 125, right. Yeah, I don't think that scorpion can give me any grief, because... There's like that, that whole island there surrounded by lava. My only concern is if something suddenly decides to jump out of the, um, the wall, that could be tricky, so... Right, I'm not seeing anything, so... Right then, so we need to grapple over to that... Uh, to that wall over there. So far, so good. Then over to there. That looked like a spider there. A scorpion. Right, so now I need to get back. And back again. Et voila! Right, so now, now then, we've got to make our way back out. I mean, I, I didn't want to bring uh, the Yotta down here. It's tempting, because, I mean, it's already... Um, it's already respawned, but, uh, yeah, I don't particularly want to lose Oswald. So, we're going to make our way back, and fingers crossed we'll get back in one piece. So, see you shortly. Okay, then, make or break. Yeah, that's what happened last time. I can hear something. And that's what happened last time. I came up here with Emerald. We got to there and I heard something coming for me. But I went and jumped. Where is it? Where the heck is it? Where are you? Because I think that's what uh, got Emerald, because I'm pretty sure she got bit. Just as she was jumping or something. Oh! Phew. Oh, I can breathe a sigh of relief now. <laughs> oh, it's true. Right, so we're going to have to come back here a few more times, because I, I need uh, a lot more of those artefacts. There's three levels for the um, for the little mini-boss. I think you need them for the end boss as well, for the overseer. I can't quite remember, but uh, 
Ooh, right, so we're going to head back to the surface now. No, let's clear these out. That's a trouble, these have all respawned by now. I wonder what time it is. Yeah, it's 6.40 in the morning. I came down here at about, I think it was about 25 past 11. So we've been here for a heck of a long time. Uh, are we heading in the right direction? Yep. Yeah. It's pretty easy to come down, to be honest. I mean, you can explore it more, but the the key thing is, you know, I've, I've shown you where all of, all three Explorer notes are. Pretty easy enough to find. Right, I'll leave that there, along with them. Uh, so you know where all the Explorer notes are, as I say. It's a pretty straightforward path to follow. Um, and then it's just a case of, I think it's that one one jump, that's the, yeah, that's kind of like make or break basically, it's, uh, yeah. But anyway, we've managed to get the, the artifact of the massive, I think that was, wasn't it? Yeah, it's the artifact of the massive, so that means we've now got all three artifacts uh, that we need to be able to take on the broodmother. But we're a, we're a good way off from that because we need uh, the dinosaurs for it. Um, I'm going to try a slight variance of what I you normally do, uh, but uh, we'll do that later on. So, that's the lava cave, and in there is the artifact of the massive. I mean, I do suggest taking down some health potions, make sure you've got plenty of water, plenty of food, Kaelian soup, make sure you've got enough grappling hooks. I mean, it takes about four uh, to get there and back. Uh, you know, have a look around if you want to see more like uh, loot. Uh, crates that are down there. Uh, having a rifle with a scope comes in handy to be able to, you know, to be able to target things like those bats to pull them towards you. So then you're in a, a better area to fight them. But it's, it's a relatively relatively easy enough um, cave to do. In my case, I've got high fortitude. I've got quite a lot of health on me now, uh, so I can survive. That's you know like a bite from rabies. And uh, I mean, it'll do okay as long as you've got the health potions. And you get like a double bite, but yeah, those pays to stop and uh, heal first. So, anyway, I do hope you've enjoyed watching this video. If so, then do please leave a like, because that will help me out a great deal. If you're new to the channel and you want to see more content like this, then yeah, do subscribe. Just remember to click the little bell icon though, because then you get notifications for whenever I send uh, new content out. If you've got any comments, any suggestions, want to leave any feedback at all, please post that in the comments section below. But until the next video, thanks very much for watching. Bye.